Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix an issue that you might have. Um, so right here, this is a simplex dual action pull station with the black push bar. And you can see here that it doesn't really spring back anymore. So what's supposed to happen is once you push it in, it's going to fly back out and then you can just push it and it's springy. But if you go ahead and open this pull station up and look at the inside, this has the push bar but it's broken so there's supposed to be two tabs that come down here and then when that compresses against the back it kind of springs but because this is one of my first pull stations you can see it's really beat up actually i broke the plastic there which is why it just comes off the back um but i would like to have the push part working so today i'm going to be showing you how to fix that with just a simple paper clip and some hot glue all right, so what you're gonna do is take a fairly large paper clip and then bend it out all the way. And then what you're gonna do is basically just kinda use the pole station as a measurement and then uh, straighten it out and then try to get um, about like, I'd say a centimeter and a half um, sticking up and then you bend it all the way out. So basically you might be able to tell what this does. So what we're gonna do is glue this over here. And eventually once we glue that down, what it's, what it's gonna do is basically it's going to push on those uh, tabs. So when the push bar is pressed, it's going to push against this like that, and then it's going to compress. Now, the paper clip shouldn't bend because we left a lot of slack. So what it should just do is just kind of act as a spring and then spring back, and then that will uh, basically act as the replacement push bar. All right, so I actually just glued it in. Um, just a side note, what I actually ended up doing is bending these two little flaps over here just so it wouldn't roll around because obviously if you just glue a metal rod, it's probably going to just fly and just roll a little bit. So you just do that. Now it's pretty secure and you can actually bend it up a little bit if it doesn't work properly. But now you can basically see there are these little springs here and it works decent. So if we go ahead and put the pole station back together, which might be a little difficult with one hand, actually it wasn't very difficult. You can see that immediately the push part springs out. So if we go ahead and lock it, you can see here now the push part looks proper. This is what it would probably look like in a building. And then if you push it in, it actually flies back out. So this is actually great because um, even though I did break this a couple of years ago, now I can actually have a push part again. So push, pull down, and it works. So that's that. Just another thing, you will have to adjust it. Um, it does take a little bit of messing around with to get it perfectly um, because sometimes these tabs get a little bit misaligned. So you just have to kind of bend them to where you need them. But eventually, once you get them to the perfect amount of tension and then pressing on the perfect spot on these bars, your push part will be good again. So that's how you fix the uh, push bar in a simplex pole station if you've broken it. Thanks for watching.